Trussell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful. Ooh, look at that sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is October the, what is today, the 27th, 2023. And I want you to look and view. The leaves are starting to turn, which I don't appreciate because that means summer's really going away. But look at the green in my Bermuda. It's still, it's still fairly green. The reason the grass is going dormant right now <clears throat> is not so much the temperature. It's that we haven't had really any rain in almost two months. It's been cool and the dew on the ground is giving a little sustenance to the grass, but... I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I was not aware of that could be, I'm going to give you a scenario and it could be a financial disaster to you. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. If you have a ramp rack, a mow and go system, or let's say that you have a homemade ramp that you've put on your truck, I guess or van, we'll say truck or van, but mostly pickup truck. And you are carrying personal insurance, right? Just regular insurance that you would have on a truck, like what I have on the Tundra, okay? Just regular personal insurance. And I had a, a business rider on that, which means that I could use that truck in my business. So I wouldn't have to purchase commercial insurance. So I was talking to my agent one day, and um, I like to, you know, periodically review my stuff with them. And I was talking about this Chevy truck and the Mow and Go. And I said, is the Mow and Go going to be covered if I have an accident, whether it's my fault or not? And they said, what's a Mow and Go? I said, it's the ramp that I have on the back of my truck. I took the tailgate off, and now they're... They're like, um, can you send us a picture of that? So I sent them some pictures. I sent them the link to the website so they could see. These are worth about 1900 bucks. And she said, um, <laughs> she goes, it's a really good thing that you called. Now get this. I have State Farm. I've had State Farm for 37 years. Perfect driving record. No tickets, no accidents, no claims. She told me. Had I got in an accident with this, okay, let's assume that it's my fault. I'm not paying attention. I go through a stop sign, hit somebody, and there's injuries, there's equipment, property damage, whatever. She said that my insurance would have been null and void because of this right here. I said, what, what are you talking about? She said that it's considered... A modification to the vehicle it's permanently attached even though it's bolted you know it's two bolts that bolt it she said no it's considered permanently attached like a boom crane or anything else on like a service truck and she said that State Farm would have denied any coverage at all because I should have had commercial insurance so I was paying I think like 60 bucks a month for this truck it's a little more because it's four-wheel drive to 89 uh, but I ended up having to get commercial commercial insurance and if you guys have not priced commercial insurance this is something that's crazy this truck with commercial insurance costs the same as this almost the same as this truck that makes no sense whatsoever but she told me that most insurance companies, and this is where I want to caution you guys to please, if you're running one of these, make sure you're covered because this is what's going to happen. All right, nobody plans to get in an accident. And if you have a ramp rack or a mow and go specifically, and there may be oop, freaking yellow jacket coming after me. You may very well not plan to get in an accident and nobody does. But if something happens, and somebody gets hurt and there's a big claim, there's a lot of damage, 
God forbid somebody's killed or severely injured, there's probably fine print in there about stuff being, you know, like it was for here. They can say, we're not covering you, and you will be completely liable. You, The amount of lawsuits you could lose, your, your business, your house, all your assets. Please, I'm begging you to check if you're running one of these. Now, I asked her, what about if I'm pulling a trailer? She said, no problem whatsoever. Your personal insurance with a business rider covers you doing business in your personal truck. So on the Tundra... When I use my trailer, if I, something happens, let's say the same scenario, and I'm pulling my trailer, they would I'm 100% covered. It's a trailer because it's not permanently attached. That's the thing. So please, please, please check with your insurance agent if you're running one of these. Now, the whole thing about commercial insurance is it's expensive. Okay, I'm paying $240 a month for that Chevy truck. But you know what? I calculated I have to do a couple extra yards a month to pay for the insurance, but I'm covered, right? I'm not going to get in some financial just nightmare because I was ignorant, okay? Don't be... What is it? Don't be penny wise and pound foolish. Nobody wants to pay. I, look, whenever I re retire that truck and I take that ramp off, I'm going to take the commercial insurance off and go back to personal insurance with a business rider. If, and, you know, if I want to pull a, tra a trailer or haul pine straw around or something. All right. But as long as that ramp is on there, that truck has to have commercial insurance unless I want to gamble and take a chance. There is no these people in the in in this world they are lawyers are are it's crazy right they're going to take any any especially if you got your insurance denied your coverage is not denied so don't be don't 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 do that insure your have the proper insurance i guess that's the bottom line check with your agent if you're running that and let make sure they understand that it's you know what it is right my it took several days of back and forth that all that information had to go to the underwriters, and finally they understood what it was. They could see the website. The, I had plenty of pictures. Now I have the, the proper coverage, and that is actually on the policy. So obviously, if it gets damaged, it's going to get replaced. But uh, they will cover me in an accident if I have that on there. And it's ridiculous. I know. If I will go through a stop sign or whatever and hit somebody's car, it has nothing to do with that ramp. But an insurance company is going to take anything they can do because they're in the business to make money, not pay claims. But if they, if there's a loophole in there and I had that ramp and it has nothing to do with it, it doesn't matter. My coverage would be null and void. So that is what I wanted to talk to you guys today. And I can't really think of other stuff. I don't think having a, like a trimmer holder and all that would be considered permanently attached if it's bolted i, I don't know I, I would check i would definitely check you know this business is really expensive to operate and having to have commercial insurance on your truck is super expensive but don't don't risk losing everything you've worked for your house your bank account your retirement because if something happens and it's catastrophic you could be completely wiped out all because you didn't want to spend the money to have the proper insurance just make sure you got the proper insurance so um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while but I I never thought about it I keep forgetting about it but yeah just make sure check with your agent make sure you've got the proper insurance if you have a mow and go and if you have a ramp rack I would love to hear in the comments do you have what what insurance company you have if you've checked and do you have a commercial policy on your truck or you you know I rolled it around for two years with a with a uh, with my private policy even though I had the business rider on there I was I would have not have been covered so anyway guys I hope that uh, this gets you thinking check with your insurance uh, I'm going to do a video update on the box truck 
and that insurance debacle that I went through. That's a whole nother video, but I'll, I'll do that video after this one. But anyway, guys, thank you very much, and I will talk to you on the next video.